to ensure that you do not lose the things that you actually make in uh, Storyboard Pro, what you can do is you can save out projects. So to save out project, you can go to file right here and click on save. And what happens is that it overwrites the saved file that you actually made when you started out a new file with uh, Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. What you can also do is if you want to save out a copy of um, the file, then you can click on save as, and then you can choose around the folder where you can save out a new file right here. So I'm just going to go around and say to YouTube channel example two right here. So S board is the extension for storyboard pro projects. So if I were to press save now, now you can see that it is actually saved out as version two right here. So it is saved out as example two. And now what I have is on the top, you can see the file name chains as well. You can also go around over here and then click on save as version right here. So let's say you want to save it as a second version, then you can see that uh, there's a, there is version two saved over here again. So you want to save it out as different versions right here, click on save as version. Then what you can do is you can save it out as another version of the file as well. So as you work along, you might want to save multiple versions so that you can keep track, a track of your progress as well. So apart from that, uh, if you want to save it as a backup, let's say for example, then what you can do is you can go around and click on a uh, backup storyboard right here. So once you do that, what happens is that it saves this out as a backup file, as you can see right here. So whatever you're actually doing, it um, it is actually saving out to the original file itself that you have right here. It is not being saved out to the backup. So if you want to restore out the backup, you can go to file right here and then you can click on restore and open backup. So you can go around and disregard this and choose a backup right here and click on open. And what happens is that you can go around, select out a folder where you want to actually overwrite the backup with, and then you can see the restored version right here, just like this. So what you can also do is you can click on open to open out different projects according to how you like as well. So you can go around and open out an existing project over here as well. So uh, if you m have to actually save out constantly and you do not want to remember uh, that you need to save out things so that you don't lose your project, you can also enable out something called autosave. And to do that, you can click on edit, then you can go to preferences right here. And in advanced tab, you can enable autosave as well. So right now it's set to never, but if I were to go around and set this to 10 minutes, then what happens is that it saves a version of the file every 10 minutes. Similarly, you can go around, turn it into five minutes over here as well, but 10 is the minimum value in this version, as you can see right here. So I can go around, type in 20 right here. So every 20 minutes, it'll actually save out a version of uh, the storyboard pro file. Uh, uh, and you don't have to remember to manually save out everything. So it's in, uh, it's in each 20 uh, minutes interval, it saves out, it auto saves out the current version of file that you're working with. And that is how you can save project and utilize auto save and use the backup option and open up files and open out backup inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.